Hello and welcome back to Tammy's Antique Vintage Dolls and More. And yes, there it is. Somehow, this little buggy rolled down the street, up my laneway, and got into my house. I don't know how it happens. You girls know these things have happened to you too. You've had it happen at grocery stores. And yes, it, you watch when you come to your house someday. You might wake up in the morning. You might be gone for the day and you come back. And this is a strange event will happen to you where an antique of something will just show up and you can't explain it. And I'm not going to try to explain it. I'm just going to learn to enjoy the moment and love it. Now how, how many out there are you uh, are out there are that gullible to believe that? I am. <laughs> anyway, there we are. Yes, she is here. This is the nice little... Uh, uh, buggy we call them buggies here I know other places they call them prams but here we call them buggies and um, I was raised on the word buggy that you your buggy that you put your doll into but anyhow um, but anyways here this is her but you want to know something about her as I come closer you're gonna see one thing wrong with her she is dirty this is one dirty little buggy look at the dirt on there and I'll show you that it is dirt there it is on my rag I just did a little bit of wiping and if you look down here on my, my, um, well, maybe you can't see it right there. there there's some drippings from her where I was trying to wash her. And she's just like the dirt wants to come off of her. She is just one dirty little buggy. But you can just see it here. The yellow is underneath this, this dirt. And it just wants to, you can just flick it. And you can see underneath the nice yellow paint that comes. You know, but anyways, um, she's going to need a good cleaning up. And I think you're going to see a nice yellow underneath this. Or maybe that is just, it, it feels dirty. Like you can actually feel the, the grime, the grit on, on the doll, on the buggy itself. It just feels like gritty, you know, in places. But, um, you know, I don't want to paint it if I don't have to. If this is just dirt on this or if it's a brown paint that's coming off, well, it's going to have to come off because um, there is a lot of dirt in there too. You can feel it with your hands. My husband and I were putting our hands over it and the grit that you could feel coming off of it. You know, this was not stored in the most wonderful place, but it needs some going over. We're going to, you know, get her looking beautiful again. And, um, but a very nice piece. There's no holes in her wicker. Her wicker looks great. And, um, I don't know if I really want to paint her. I think I like just to keep her the way she is, you know, and just clean her up a bit. And, um, if there's an underlay of yellow anyway, so this maybe was painted brown, and there's an underlay of yellow, underlay of yellow, I'm going to go with the yellow underneath. I think it looks rather pretty. But, um, and that could have been just brown paint on top that's just falling off. And we're going to let the brown paint come off, and we're going to go with the yellow underneath. Because it looks really pretty, that yellow. If I can get that yellow to come up, we're going to do that. If not, maybe I'll spray paint her down the road. We'll see. I haven't made any decisions on her yet. But if you look inside... She's actually brown even on the inside there. So her paint could have been brown at one time. This could have been a brown buggy. Or somebody painted it themselves. And that's what I got a feeling they did. They were fixing it up and they painted it brown over the yellow. But we're going we're gonna to fix her up because I think this yellow is, is prettier. So I, I, I hope it's showing the, the color to underneath. If you can see that, nice, there's a nice yellow underneath there. We're going to get that to come up because I got a feeling somebody just took a paintbrush and went over this just to paint it uh, brown because it just doesn't seem to be wanting to stick on there. It looks like somebody did some work on this. They tacked up the, the sides and everything. Nice little piece of lace back there, some flowery lace. But it looks like somebody did some work on it at one time or another here. But I'm going to take her and I'm going to see if I can get that brown paint off of her. Most of it on the bonnet is coming through as the yellow. You can just see it there. So if I can get that to come out somewhat, it might stay a little too tony, but um, I'm going to hope it doesn't. I hope I'm going to be able to get that this, this off. But I'm going to work on it on, on a nice warm summer, well, spring day if I can get outside with it and just start working on her and getting some of this stuff off. But there is dirt on her. It's there, you know. Or maybe that was paint I was taking off. I don't know. But um, I'm just glad I got her. She looks beautiful. And, um, but again... You know, I had my doors locked last night. I don't know how it happened. But anyways, this is the end of it. I'm not going to be buying any more. Or, or, or I'm going to try not to. Yeah, heard that one before. And he's going to hear it again. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Have a great day. I just thought I'd show this nice little piece of history. Oh, and one thing I want to put into this too. Um, this piece of, of this little buggy here is a piece of my, my our history here in Chatham. It's a Chatham item. So when I decide to do a doll show someday, um, what I would like to I like to have in my collection as I'm showing people and helps people relate, especially if I'm doing a doll show in my area. I can actually say this is from our area and it helps people to connect and um, to their area. And I like pieces from all over, but I also like having some local pieces that I can say, yeah, this is from Chatham. Yes, and it's some of the surrounding areas. I have we have places like Dresden, Wallaceburg, um, Tilbury, Blenheim. Ridgetown. Those are our surrounding, some of our Wheatley. Those are some of our surrounding areas around that you can, people in our area will connect to. And uh, they can go, oh wow, something right from our area. And, and, and it's a drawing piece as well. So to know that the little girl that was from our, our area here lived here, played with this buggy. You know, she may be dead and gone. Maybe she's still alive. I don't know. But one thing we do know is it's from our area and, and it just makes it a little bit nicer in that way that people so people can connect. But anyhow, there she is. She's looking great. You know, um, we're going to make her look greater though as time goes on. So anyhow, have a great day. And again, be careful of those things just coming into your home like they do. You know, how they fall into your grocery basket and all this stuff, you know. Sometimes we just don't have control over those things, that events that happen in our life. And I say, go with it. Flow with it. Anyways, have a great day. Bye-bye.